Zhang have a real problem right now. And I, I know that's probably not shocking to hear from me. The person probably most critical of Mojang at this point in time with the whole um, delay in Minecraft Day or whatever it's called in 2019 or whenever because of COVID. It would have been 2020, sorry. Yeah, delay. Well, it could have been 2019, I can't remember. Anyway, they, but, you know, they said they delayed it, but they basically just cancelled it, and somehow people still fucking believe that it wasn't cancelled, it was just delayed. Even. Anyway, and with the whole um, not delaying uh, Case and Cliffs, just splitting it in two. Heavy use of quotation marks there, but yeah. So it's probably not a shocker to hear from me, you know, if you've seen those videos, that there's a problem within Mojang. And, but I think it's really come out a, more here, there's like, um, so I was watching IBX Toy Cat's recent, um, uh, at, uh, what was it called? I, I, Question Saturday or something like that. I don't know, it's Monday, it's Question Sunday. Ask me anything. He basically does a. Sometimes. Sometimes he does a thing on Sunday where. Video on Sunday where he just answers questions. And this is usually around when new updates come out and it's usually about new updates. And, um. One of them was talking about. Uh, asked us, like, hey, IBX Toy Cat, do you think uh, Mojang should hire more people or something like, like that basically um, talking about Mojang hiring more people and uh, I can't remember who this quote was but um, uh, I believe Toy Cat just like asked a Mojang you know want to hire up some Mojang about that and it uh, I, I, I should have looked it up but, uh, you can go look up the video if you, re if you really want to know exactly which um, Mojang employee was, but someone at Mojang basically said, um, well, nine women that can't give birth to a child in a month, and it's just like, my god, that is the laziest, most half-assed, bullshit analogy and excuse I have ever heard. So, um, and this is basically underlines what the problem is at Mojang right now. So, if you don't know, um, Cave and Caves and Cliffs basically got delayed not once, but twice. Uh, the first time it got delayed out of 2020, and now it's been delayed into um, winter of 2021, when it was so it's supposed to release in summer, and they gave the whole, uh, it's releasing in two parts, bullshit. Um... And, uh, yeah, this is just, this underlines a major problem with Mojang. They do not think anything wrong is going on, and they, like, something wrong is going on. I can't say definitively what it is, but it's one or two things. And, honestly, with them, uh, um, bearing in mind here, I looked up and uh, at least uh, what I, from what I could find, there's about 600 people currently working uh, on Minecraft. Um, I believe that's Minecraft Bedrock would be Java. Well, anyway, they have two different teams, and I think there's only about 600 people working on Minecraft Bedrock. Um, and that's the bigger team of the two, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, um, here's the two possible problems I, that could be going on in Mojang right now, which almost definitely led to my uh, case and cliffs not only being not being a blade delay not being delayed not only once but twice right the first possible problem is that they're understaffed and um, let me hear and the reason why I'm bringing up this first is so I can just tear that previous quote apart so say you hire somebody to build a house for you but when it, when they he turns up to build a house, it's just him and his mate. And you ask him, "Where's the rest of the builders?" And he's like, "Oh, well, you, uh, nine women can't give birth to one baby in a month." It's like, no. But when you're building a house or making a game, more developers generally help to speed along as long as you can manage the resources and communicate properly. 
and this is the first possible issue that my Mojang really have. They're under, they could be very understaffed, uh, which could have caused the gay, the update to be, de be delayed twice. Now, uh, now a game being delayed is, or an update being delayed isn't necessarily um, a sign that they're understaffed or anything, right? and I get that, but it's just like, a game being, or an update being delayed twice is sort of a, it's just like enough to make me just look at just like, yeah, something might be going on wrong here because they first gave a date that they thought they could hit, they couldn't hit that date. Then they gave another date that they thought they could hit, they couldn't hit that date either. And now they're, they're giving us a third date. Um, and it's just like, uh, um, something wrong is probably going on. Like, it's, this is enough to make me be concerned about what's going on at Mojang. Um, and um, basically, um, that, them being on the staff is my... What I think is most likely right now, um, because th there is one more possibility, but I think this is the most likely possibility, um, simply just because there's only 600 people working on Minecraft Bedrock, and mm, and I believe like they develop stuff on Java first, then to port it to Bedrock, um, which is why the Java like snapshots and everything comes out before like Bedrock beta stuff. So, um, but I believe that on this update they've actually had like uh, the Java team working on caves and the Bedrock team working on cliffs, which I thought was, which I think was good and a good m management of resources. I'll get back to that in the next point. Um, but um, I just I do think they are just probably understaffed, and that's probably the main reason why the the. the update got delayed twice. I think they do probably need more staff. Like I think Microsoft seriously just needs to step in and it's like, all right, all right, what's going on here? Why has this been delayed twice? When we originally promised to have two big updates a year, we're not, we're only getting one, the past two years we've only had one big update. What is going on here? Something needs sorting out. Like Microsoft, I know they said they their hands off with like the companies they were, but it's like, do you really believe Rareware wanted to make Connect ga Connect games uh, up for years until they eventually made the Sea of Thieves? Like X X X. I mean, there, there's a reason why a bunch of Rare original Rareware employees left and made Playtonic. And I don't think that's because Microsoft gave them free reign to do whatever they wanted. Um, so Microsoft needs to like be more hands-on here, just like, okay, something's clearly not up, what's going on? Why is it, you know, why, why aren't you doing the work that you should be doing? Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the, that's part, that's the, Pro that's the problem that I think is most likely. The second possible problem, but I think is less likely, is that there's a really bad mismanagement um, of like time, resources, and communication. And again, I don't really think this is the problem. It, maybe it could be improved, but you know, with uh, like the be the Java team doing K's and Bedrock team doing cliffs. I, from what I, from what I can you know tell from the outside looking in, their their management of resources doesn't seem to be bad. But again, this is just outside looking in. Uh, all for all I know, um, they could be royally fucking up um, their resource management and just like. Having like way too many people um, focus on one small thing instead of larger thing. Maybe that's what's going on, but I doubt it. Um, 
And uh, I think that either way, at the end of the day, it's one of these is going on. Either they don't have enough staff and they need more staff, or they're, the current staff that they have is enough, but they're mismanagement, mismanaging it. Like, this doesn't, delaying an update twice doesn't, you know, come from a perfectly fine working environment. It comes from the working environment that is struggling to get the update out. And there is has to be a reason to why they're struggling. Either they were full of bullshit in the first place and could never ever make the original uh, release date that they said. Um, and it, uh, then they possibly could have made the second update but then uh, made summer of 2021. But like Corona or something got pushed back into winter but then it's just like but I would just require assuming that they lied entirely about uh, it possibly releasing in 2020 at the end of 2020 so by this point it's been delayed by an entire year which again they said we began two big updates a year one at the beginning and like one at the end I believe they said or was it or something like that or like one small one and one big one was it anyway? We know we're basically saying two updates a year. I think one big one and one small one actually. Now that come to think of it. Anyway, they said two updates a year. Yeah, the, and they've they've just given us one update in the two years. So there, something's going going wrong here, and I think Mike. I, I really don't like this because ever since Microsoft basically killed Rare, Microsoft has a special place in my heart for filled with dark darkness and hatred that for them and but i honestly do think they need to step in and uh, uh just figure out what's going on and it honestly does hear me to say because again they killed rare i fucking love rare and they killed her and it, it honestly saying this does make me angry but I honestly think this is probably the best thing because they need to assess what's going on here and how to fix it because they, they, I don't think Mojang really have a leader really like there's probably somebody in charge but at least from like the outside looking in there's nobody we can uh, look to and say oh yeah that's the main person they're making the decisions and the, you know they're the ones talking to the community and all that like we had we used to have notch for that but notch is gone now and he, he used to be the guy he we used to be like okay notch has final say on everything he's the one that's you know communicating with the fan base and the, the appearing at um you know minecon and it is just like but now it's just like we do have agnes but that's appearing at Minecon and Jeb appears but he hardly ever talks it's just like is, is Jeb in charge? Is Agnes in charge? Who's in charge here? Like who is making the decisions? Who's managing the resources here? Like who who has the final say? Like I could be wrong but I, I just don't feel like there's one person we can look to and just like hey what's going on here? And I think, I just think Microsoft needs to get in and I do think maybe a little bit partly mismanagement resources but I do think they do need more staff. I think that, I think more staff is probably the main thing. Could be a combination of two but I do think it's mostly, at least, mostly lack of staff. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you, are, are you concerned about um, the, uh, or, uh, Keys and Cliff up, up, Cliff's update being uh, delayed twice. Do you think it is a um, sign that something's going wrong at Mojang and Microsoft needs to step in and, eva and evaluate the situation? Or do you think, no, Microsoft, wherever Microsoft touches, dies. Keep Microsoft as far away from Minecraft as possible. Dear God. And I'll see you guys next video. Also, before I go, I want to make a quick statement. Um, uh, I recently stated that, that Warden would not be coming in Caves and Cliffs and I believe it is, I think at least, uh, I think that's what IBX Toy has said in his recent Q&A. Q&A! That's what it is. The Q&A Saturday. Sunday? Q&A Sunday? Whatever it is. It's Q&A video. Anyway, 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.